It's a real pleasure to take on, after Marc Levevier, the role of president of the society. It really is a huge honor, and I've been part of ISRS for many years now. I think it dates back to almost 2007, and so it's been a lot of years in the making, and I've served on the board, and then as an officer. In fact, I left for a little while from serving on the board, and they brought me back in. And so I was happy for that, and to really give my time and dedicate it to the organization, because the organization means so much to many of us. And as a young radiation oncologist being brought in the field, it really was the ISRS that made me appreciate the global impact that we have in radio surgery and how these connections within the different countries really tailor a more uniform approach globally so that patients benefit from the highest quality care. This meeting really was a shared effort between Cleveland Clinic and the ISRS officers. We've done so much work this last two years. I really give credit to this group of officers and our board because we took what was maybe not as organized of an approach towards becoming a real society. And I think that's really what happened. We have a new logo, we have support, we built it beyond just the meeting with our webinar series, our guideline series, and now a very integrated approach towards the future and that future of bringing in stereotactic body radiotherapy and how we embraced it with open arms. And there was initially some resistance because we weren't sure if that fit within our society and now we realize it absolutely does. So in the future for me, it's about continuing on this transformation so that our organization is self-sustained and moving towards a direction of true integration with our colleagues in medical physics in radiation oncology, neurosurgery, but also other disciplines. And when we start talking about lung radiosurgery, there's thoracic surgeons, now we do cardiac procedures, there's cardiac surgeons, and we can really try and shape this more holistically towards a membership and a community that really broadly spans radiosurgery and stereotactic body radiotherapy. Within my role as president, I really look forward to inclusivity. And I think I would really be a hard pressed not to mention that we are very much aware of making sure that we have an equitable and diverse community of leaders. And we take that principle forward to the next Congress because it's very important. I mean, we are the ISRS, we are international, we are diverse, but we also have to make sure that that diversity holds true in our leadership. And that's something that I'm very much committed to do. So I'm really excited and, and proud to work with my good friend Cecilia as we have the next Congress in Sydney and I think it's going to be a, a great way to engage Indo-Pacific and Asia into our family of radiosurgery because we haven't been there for a long time and we recognize this and this is a real opportunity to expand uh, in Australia and Asia in particular to bring it forward and bring the message of radiosurgery. So I'm really looking forward to it. I have full confidence in Cecilia and I'm very happy to work with her just the way that we did in this meeting. Like this meeting really was a shared effort between Cleveland Clinic and the ISRS officers to make this meeting a success and that's what I'm certainly dedicated to do for Sydney.